damn, I was a sexual little boy. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm gonna get down and personal and reveal some things you don't know about me. So, let's begin with this Ask Joey, shall we? We shall. Okay. I haven't done one of these in forever and you guys have been dying for me to post another one. Uh, so, let's get to it, shall we? We shall. Okay, so the first question comes from uh, Flamina Hotana. Ask Joey, when are you gonna come out? Bitch! Have you not seen my videos the past couple years? I am out and proud and girl, just do some research. Okay, um, <laughs> next one is, ooh, if I were to dye my hair again, what color would you dye it? And that is from Kawaii Mon 100. I'm so bad at names. Um, I haven't dyed my hair in so long, but I think I'd wanna go back to like a blue metallic or purple metallic. I don't know, I just really like that color. Um, so that answers that. <laughs> oh, okay, I got this question a lot, and it is, when will you make a video with Shane again? So, truth is, Shane and I are actually not friends anymore. We had a bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> How many of you guys did I scare? No, I don't know. Shane and I, we hang out. We just haven't filmed in a while. Um, hopefully we can change that soon because I know a lot of you showy shippers are missing the showiness. When was the last video? I don't even remember. Moving on to the next question. What did you used to do that you miss the most? Um, honestly, a lot of things, but not really, but kind of. <coughs> Choking on air. I don't know, honestly, I feel like I kind of really miss having like a friend group. I feel like I don't, I have friends, but I don't like have like a close group like I used to, and I miss that. I like, I don't know. I feel like when you're in a relationship, your whole life becomes with that person, and I love Daniel so much, um, but I miss like a friend group. I kind of miss that a lot. I don't know, can you only have one or the other? Can you only have friends, or can you only have a relationship? I don't know, but, I don't know. <gasps> oh, what type of dog would you get if I had to get another one and would it be a boy or a girl? Uh, okay, so I definitely want to get another dog. I don't know when, but I want it to be a girl and I think we're leaning on the lab side, although I've always wanted a Bernie's Mountain Dog, so honestly, I don't know and I don't even know if we're actually gonna get a third one, but if we were, that's what it would be. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and who would you go with? I really want to go back to Japan so bad and I'd love to go with a group of friends, but I don't have a group of friends, so honestly, like, I'd probably go alone, right? <laughs> How did I become famous on YouTube? Lots and lots and lots of work and, uh, you know, devoting the past 10 years of my life to this career. Um, it's so weird to think that I've almost been making YouTube videos for 10 years. I believe my 10 year anniversary will be June 7th of this year. So insane. I need to do a big event or something for that 10 year mark. Um, I don't know, it just takes a long time. It definitely is not something that happens overnight. And I don't know. It's a lot of luck and a lot of uh, just being yourself and kind of just living in the YouTube world and knowing what works and what doesn't work. And I know a lot of you guys are kind of like, Joey, like your videos have just turned into like something different, but that's what being a YouTuber is. Like it's evolving yourself and your channel. Like the things that I was doing 10 years ago is not what I'm doing now. And the stuff I'm doing now is not what I'm gonna be doing in a couple of years. Um, so to stay relevant and to become a successful YouTuber, it's evolving and becoming different, following the trends, staying true to yourself. So it's a mixture of the whole thing. It's a, it's a science. Uh, okay, next one is, oh, ooh, this is a juicy one. Have you ever dated a woman? P.S. I'm a massive fan of your YouTube channel. Thanks, sister. Yes, I have dated girls in the past. Uh, I remember my first girlfriend, what was her name? Casey, Casey was my first girlfriend. It was in sixth grade and it's a funny story actually. So uh, two girls loved me. It was like the first week of school. They didn't get the gay vibes yet. So <laughs> um, these two girls fought over me. It was Lauren and Casey and they were best friends and they forced me to choose one of them to be their boyfriend and I like interviewed them, we talked on AIM, and I was like, okay, which one am I gonna choose? Uh, I felt like such a pimp. So eventually I chose Casey because she was the sweet one. And bitch! 
bitch broke my heart a week later and was like, I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. Oh, now you're not ready for a relationship? You're in sixth grade, honey. Step it up, pop your pussy, let's date. Um, no, I was like, oh yeah, totally cool, it's fine. <laughs> Dating in like middle school was literally like <laughs> nothing. It, it, I don't even think we held hands. <laughs> So it's nothing, but we did have sex. So I guess that's something. <gasps> Ooh, do you plan on making new Crystal Wolf jewelry? Yes, of course, but also a bunch of other things that I'm working on will be coming out soon, well this year. And it's not just jewelry, hint, hint. <laughs> okay, ooh, oh my gosh, okay. What age were you the first time you questioned your sexuality? Okay, so this is kind of like TMI story, but it would have to be when I was on the bus me and this other boy, this is so weird, I never thought I'd be telling this story. I don't think I've told anyone this, so enjoy this juicy story um, of me being a little horn dog. <laughs> okay, so in like preschool, kindergarten, I would take the bus, and on the bus ride home, me and this other boy would like go down under the seat part where your legs are, and we put a jacket over each other, and... <laughs> <laughs> on the outside, we would touch each other's like crotch area and it was like, I don't, I don't even know why. I mean, I guess it's because I was gay and I was into that. But like, not really. I mean, I'm in preschool, kindergarten. I wasn't like sexually like excited about things, but we would literally just like put our hand on each other's crotch and it was like above the pants. Like it wasn't anything too crazy, but it's so crazy to think about that. Like as a kid, damn, I was a sexual little boy moving on <laughs> can't believe I told that story I mean we all do that right like as kids we kind of like want to see what each other's privates are I mean I did that with girls and boys am I bisexual oh my gosh um uh -huh. you know you're just curious there's nothing wrong with that unless you're like a creepy old man doing that to a little kid then yeah that's not right but two little kids go for it so yeah that's probably when I questioned my sexual it's actually that's not really questioning it I feel like kids show so many signs of who they truly are when they don't have society's like things in their head. So the signs were there for a long time. Okay, this is another gay question. Uh, what was the scariest part about coming out? Oh, this is so long ago. Not really, it was like, what, two years ago? Okay, so I'm gonna direct this question to like the scariest moment of me coming out because I feel like that's where you have to start. You have to start coming out to yourself and the hard, or the scariest part was just admitting that. Like I knew, like I knew, but actually saying it, even in your head, like acknowledging that part of you, I think is the scariest thing because if you think it and you like say it in your mind, it means that it could be true. And I don't know, I think that was the hardest and scariest part was just self-acceptance. Not necessarily what everyone else thought, but what I thought of myself. I had this like brainwashed view of what being gay was and what that meant, so I, I don't know. That was the hardest and scariest part was to myself. <laughs> but that's done with, okay. What was the name of your first pet? Bitch, are you trying to freaking hack me? You know that's a question, right? What was your first pet's name? I see you. Uh, Leo07038, if that is your real name. Queen of Hacking, okay. Are you working on a new book? Also, when will you be coming to England? I'm not allowed to say, so take it as you will. I can't say yes or no. Oh, how did you find out about Melanie Martinez? Okay, so I've been a big fan of Melanie for the past probably year or so. I feel like it was on Facebook and one of her, like I think it was Soap and Play Day? Was Playdate even a thing? No, Playdate isn't. It was um, Training Wheels. Soap and Training Wheels dual video, and I saw just this like preview, and her eyes were like these big anime things, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see what this is. And then I absolutely fell in love with Soap, and then I just had to listen to her, the other song she had out. I don't think her album was out at the time um, fully, so I had to wait, but I'm so obsessed with Melanie. I, oh, I need more. She's so good. <gasps> okay, last question. Do you see Mary? in the near future. Um, honestly, I'm gonna say no. Oh, well, I can't say no. I don't know. Not in near future, but obviously in the future, like I see myself getting married, but I still feel like I'm a kid. Like I feel like I'm a child and I'm, I could 
I could not get married at this point in my life. Like, I am still, like, immature. I have a lot of growing up to do before I can commit for life. Like, I, I don't know. That's kind of scary and not in the picture for me right now. Like, I don't feel the rush for it right now. Um, it's definitely something I'm highly interested in eventually, but no. Not for a while, so I hope that answers that for you. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy my videos. You enjoy me as a person. You care about me, please. All my happiness relies on your likes. <laughs> I wish that wasn't true. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today. I love you. I will see you all tomorrow. Good damn.